ngo mwingine hapo kali sana so make sure you go to his facebook channel uh, youtube twitter instagram kila mali go and stalk him amesema an ep is coming and then up next to kuna mc yala all the way from uganda Welcome to the circuit. Thank you. Thank mm. you so much. We are humbled. We are humbled that you've come because you're actually one of the pioneers of hip hop in Uganda. <laughs> And everyone here knows how much I love hip hop. Wow. I love Wow. Hip-hop. Thank you so much. Um I I'm I'm, I'm actually so humbled <laughs> to be here. You know, DJ Talk is really amazing. You know, I'm just enjoying the music. Then NC Mika. Wow. Mm. Yeah, this is such a great place. I'm feeling home. Wow. Thank you. The <laughs> Jitok is just blushing right now. The <laughs> <laughs> Jitok is just blushing. Right now. <laughs> well, but he's amazing. Mm. He's really playing amazing music. Welcome to the East Side. Is, is it uh, obviously you come to Kenya? You yes. Visit, uh, but is this your first uh, interview in Kenya? Um, um uh, actually uh, on TV. On TV. Yes. Uh, yeah. But you've been in the industry for quite a long time. You started uh. way back when in 1999. Um yeah late 99 2000 late yeah late 90s over there yes. tell me about that experience uh, being one of the pioneers of hip hop in Uganda was it tough was it easy <laughs> was it acceptable um okay at, at first in the beginning of course it was um, not that easy but of course our MCs um of course we used to enjoy as MCs because we used to, we used to love what we were doing i th- i hope you know clear cut mm. navio Yeah that was around the, the time we began um doing hip hop um singing uh, also performing in the same places with Bobby Wine uh, Chameleon uh, Baby Cool and uh, by then there were no studios um the media was you know there were like few and yeah so we just used to uh rap al- um rap along uh, using beats for you know yeah. uh the americans the yeah american beats they yeah. tried to do a cover on uh-huh, it or something the yeah. american beats cause there were no studios then yeah but then so it was not that easy but of course uh with years passing by you know things have gotten better you also know for every you know every country even here in kenya yeah i know yeah things have gotten better there are a lot of media there is a lot of media houses you know t- TV, you know, radio, they are pushing music and then many studios have come up. Yeah. Uh, okay, let me ask you this. Uh, I'm sure you get asked this a lot. As a female MC, do you feel like you need to fight harder than the boys? Uh, because this is a, a genre, hip hop is a genre mostly populated by the boys. So yeah. do you feel like you need to, you know, work even harder than them? Yes, yes, yes. As a female hip hop artist, yeah. I have to work hard because anyway, first of all, you know, f- MCs are few. You know there are very few actually in every country. Femcs are few, but uh, you know it's like working in a midst of men. You know, so and you know, <laughs> guys are not jokers. So you also have to come out hard, cause me actually I don't see myself like I'm really competing with ladies or. It's more of the guys because you know they are hard and I have to You're be going hard for the, for the jugular. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> awesome stuff. But uh, when you started, uh, you were actually uh, dominating for a while. Then you disappeared for a minute from 2004. Was it? <laughs> yes. Uh, so, yes. For, for some few years, what happened? Why the? Oh, uh, okay. Actually, what really happened? Like. Yeah, d- during that time, yeah, I was into music and we had also joined a certain dance group, a big dance group in Uganda. It was called Shadows Angels. There were two, Shadows Angels and Obsessions. So I joined Shadows Angels and um, th- of course my boss then was a devil worshiper. Yeah, things came out and yeah, man, so we had to give our lives to Christ, you know. Mm. Yeah, so that's why I disappeared, church, you know family things you yeah, know to regroup yeah uh, yeah do you still have a relationship with them uh, with them uh, with, with the dad with uh, sorry with who with your dad uh, no with that no the is it the dance person or uh you, you said who was the devil worshiper the 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 guy we were working for oh, the guy you were working yes, for yes he yeah. was called shadow mm. then yeah so the group was called shadows so angels are you still in contact or have you tried to um, bring him to the light he's there uh. yeah he's there like we all we all like got saved mm. yes oh awesome stuff yeah. mm. then you came back to the music industry yeah i came back to the music 2010. yes to the music industry i do 
uh, gospel music and positive music. Positive music, good yes. vibes music. That's good what vibes, we like to call yeah. It. Good vibes music, inspirational music. Uh, you how know? was the reception after <laughs> that hiatus, after uh, the personal issues that you had to deal with? Uh, how was the reception uh, by your fans? Uh, were they accepting <laughs> when you came back? Yeah, or yeah. Did you have to fight again like you're starting over? Uh, uh, okay, N okay, of course, uh, because I had disappeared and you know people you know can forget you a little bit yeah but of course when we came back we came up with this hit song you know called abachala to it's on Sorry? youtube uh, come back select <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! I'm forget. I'm forgetting. Uh, I'm in Kenya. You're, you're <laughs> scratching like it's digital. La, 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 la. Say, it, say that again, like it, it, it's slowly. <laughs> okay, it's called Abachala Tulibazira, which means that women we are heroes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Sorry. Yes. Uh, uh, let me ask you, because uh, le let me just jump into that first of all. Uh, you rap in Luo, English, Swahili, and Luganda. Yes. Uh, does it make uh, uh, creating the cipher uh, that much easier? Because, like, even now, I felt like you're uh, uh, like a verse may pop off. <laughs> <laughs> just one word. Does it make it easier to write, knowing all these languages and being able to put them in a song? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm. it, yeah, it, it makes it easier to write. Mm. Yeah, um, yeah. At, at times, I, I different ways of writing. Yeah, if it's a, if it's an English song, at most of the time I mix. Like, mm. yeah, the once in a while is when I'll do a full English song. Mm. Yeah, I do Luganda songs full, but at times, let me say, like in ciphers or not even in ciphers or collabs, I tend to mix. Like. It uh, mix. Some Luga flow yeah. and shink. Oh. Here's the thing. I, mm. I know uh, if I know my fans back at home, they are now your new fans. And I just, uh, that Luganda thing, you need to do it. We need at least two lines or three or four or five <laughs> or six. Give oh. us something before we continue. Just a little something. <laughs> okay. Okay, Kalim. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Well, it is on some Molona and Tandika. Never Zalu Gama Mokama Yakos and Kubuza, waste time of the Bomo, you say. Kalewani came a corner with Tumwevaze, a two Jewala Nyon, Avalabeba Fava, Jewo, and Mugugu Jiba de Jitumen Yanyon. Nayaka to Tulaba Mana to live on Yon. Joki Lango Chai, Tiwamuya, Yenga Nobu Sezi, Bakujita Mussezi, or Wobwens or Yiti Wamalaya, Kato Tukulanga with two Kirivu, one two Bokiriza, Tasuviza, Sabab Sabinga, two Kiriza. One and one and one man, you Kuvian called it. Mwepa zuma zuma, jia. DJ talk. I want to scratch you one time for that. <laughs> hey, that's awesome. Wow. Thank you. And like Sasa Basi was saying uh, during the earlier interview, music is universal. No matter what you speak, there's a way it touches someone somewhere. Yeah, yeah. And that's actually. awesome. Uh, actually, um, yeah, music. You might not understand, like like me, like um, I might not understand certain language. Yeah. Mm. some languages mm. but you know the, the song you know first of all the the the, the beats and then uh, the flow you know mm. the creativity you know of the song you just end up loving and yet you don't understand so yeah what you've said it's universal it's you know? universal yeah and we love you uh, we <laughs> love the luganda the luo the swahili <laughs> the you. english we love it all Thank there's you. also something uh different uh, i'm not sure if uh, people back at home know this but it an interesting take to news at the same time as a oh. reporter <laughs> for NTV Uganda. Uh, there's yeah. a news beat. Yes. I think there are people back at home, you've seen it somewhere on YouTube. Huh? Yeah. It's her. <laughs> so tell me about yeah. that experience being able to rap and tell the news at the same time. <laughs> it, is, is it interesting? <laughs> yeah. Is it tough? yeah. Yeah, actually, it's interesting. Um, in fact, uh, I've met very many journalists, um, in, uh, you, you, like these TV journalists, like who report the normal. Then no more news, and then they come to us and they're like, "You people, because they're also journalists." Huh? Yeah. And like, how do you people do it? You know, you do it like us, but I tell for you, you've taken it to another level, mm. wrapping the news. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's it's just, it's it's a good experience. You know. <laughs> I, I feel like we should give you a challenge. <laughs> no, no. no. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I, I can give you something you have in the back of your mind. Then after this, you uh, give you the challenge. <laughs> 
no <laughs> unless you have watched it on youtube yeah those who want to watch news beat oh mm. okay who have watched news beat oh who want to watch news beat it's on youtube news beat uganda mm, th that's your camera number four right over uh, there uh, Oh, yeah. So they should go to YouTube and uh, search MC Yala News Beat MC Uganda. Yala News Beat, yeah. Mm. Now back to the music. Uh, well, you came back in 2010. Yeah. Ever since then, you've been going strong, going strong, going strong. Yes. yes album? Yes. Um, actually, I've not yet worked on an album. Mm -hmm. I've just been working on singles, singles. Mm. I, lo I have a lot of, uh, lot of songs. Why but is that, if I may ask? A lot of African artists... Uh, they avoid the album route and they decide to do single, single, single um, and collabs, of course. Yeah, okay. Um, of course, um, actually, this year um, mm. I'm working on an um, album which I'm going to release. Uh, but you know, to me, I feel like things have changed a little bit. Mm. You know, of albums. Right now, you know, there is a lot of technology, you know, mm. things have changed a lot. Mm. And like now with the um, albums, you find that uh, you release an album and uh, your fan will uh, it's 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 hard for them to listen to all let me say 10 songs to listen to them from the beginning to the end mm. so what people will do they 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 they, they tend to listen like for the f uh, isn't like 40 seconds and then the person is like no nah, i'll go with this one they go to those that no eh? like like you find like if you have 10 songs they 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 will have like 3 mm. Yeah. That so like. that is yeah. So th I'm not saying that it is, you know, like it's not good to release an uh, uh, as in an album because I'm going to release one. Mm. But that is what I'm saying. Of course, that is what happens. And the that difficulty and why here. people opt out. Yeah, of the, doing they the don't albums. tend to right now. Not mm. like those days. Yeah, you remember like those days. You know these things of working on YouTube. They were not. You know. People they want uh, the digital distribution. Uh -huh. wasn't so, there. And then you remember, yeah. like, there was DVD, people, you know, a person would insert in a CD and listen. But now, you flashes just stream have the music. Yes, yeah. streaming, flash discs have come, a person will just insert, insert. You know? <laughs> yeah, because to tell you the truth, mm. um, I've, I've, I've bought some albums. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I've bought some albums. Oh, like my fellow artists, mm. and I just I know they are good, but, but to you tell you rarely the truth, use those I albums. have to tell you the truth. Yeah. I have not listened to them. I mm. I support, I support my fellow artists. I'll buy the albums. Mm. They are there. I have not. Why? Because I first of all I'm busy. <laughs> like, to, yes, like so. What so what I will do if they if they send a song online, mm. I will watch it online. Mm. But at to sit at home. To listen to a full album, I'm so busy. Like, and I'm I'm saying it, uh, you know. That's what it happens to me and to other people, because that is what I've heard. Also, other people. And the say. reality of the situation. Yes, the reality. Yeah, we have just moved to uh, digital streaming yeah. and uh, listening to music uh, online as well. Online, yeah. Which is awesome. Uh, now, your music in in particular. Mm. Uh, obviously, we can find you at Siyala uh, everywhere. Yeah. But uh, what about your latest uh, piece of work? Uh, um, can we talk about it for me? Yes, um, my latest piece of work. Yeah. Actually, uh, um, I, I have like uh, two videos. Yeah. Um, one is called Mpambana. It, it came out in March. And um, Mpambana means working hard. Mpambana. Yes. Am, am I saying it correctly? Mpambana. Mpambana. Uh, did you talk? Let me say Muchacho, my friend. Luganda. <laughs> 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 Yeah, <laughs> Mpambana means working hard. So in this song, I was saying that me from the time I was young, I used to go hard on, you know, one on one with the guys, you know, working hard in the game, you know, whatever they can do, I can do it. Yeah, so that do it even better. Uh -huh. That is what I was saying in that song, Mpambana. Mm. Yes. Uh, then after Mpambana, then I have Ting Badi Malo. Mm. Yes, uh, also this thing, Buddy Malo, of course, I was talking about, um, you know, everyone in life has a hater. Mm. You know, we have people who don't wish us good, yeah. people who pretend, you know, to love you. A person comes, you know, to you and is like, Mika, you know, mm. uh, how are you? You know, of course, they don't expect you to say, I'm fine. Mm. Yes, they expect you to say, oh, Niko Mugonjwa, you know, ah, you know, Sinado, you know, things are, you know. You know, bad. Your you know, is actually quite good. Sorry to interrupt you, but <laughs> your is quite good. <laughs> Try. 
Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, a person is like, by the way, did you finish university? Mm. You know? Mm. Because before maybe they saw you nashing. So, did you finish university? And you're like, yes, I as Mika, I managed. Kumbe, the person is feeling bad inside their hearts. So I'm like, man, lift your hands up in the air mm. if you know that God has made you pass through this, you know. Thing, buddy, my love. Yes. <laughs> uh, you're so diverse. You're speaking <laughs> all these languages. Uh -huh. We are so glad to have you. Banange, thank you. Uh, wait, huh? Banange. Banange. <laughs> ba banange. banange. Yes. We're learning something new every single day. Yeah, I'm telling you, you it's an awesome learn. time at the East Circuit. Yeah. So people can find you on MC Yala everywhere, obviously. Yeah? Yes, on YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, Instagram, mm. yeah, Facebook. Yeah. Awesome stuff. Uh, so what we're going to do, let me first read this, uh, the requests that are in. Then I want you to send out a shout out.